Hello everyone, it's Tayo here with Dr. Rattle. Uh, am, am I getting that right? You're Dr. Rattle? Anything you say, Dr. Rattle. Uh, it'd be nice to get another scientist in here, but the doctor is pretty close enough. It is Dr. Vegapunk after all. Okay, everybody, let's do it. Let's get into the next chapter, One Piece, with 1075. 1075. Chapter 1075, Labostratum Death Game. What's this? Germa 66's Cold-Blooded Voyage, Volume 31, granted an audience with the Five Elders due to his scientific genius. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is really linking up, because we have one of the Elders in the story right now. Who knows Vegapunk? So damn, this is all coming together. I gotta say, this is pretty damn impressive what Oda's doing right here. Come in, P Pythagoras. Do you read me? I, I heard a loud boom. What was that? Pythagoras, please respond. Clank, clank. Has there been an accident? You weren't caught up in it, were you? Snail 12, building C. Check the surrounding area. What? What was that shadow? Damn, I wonder. Who was that shadow? Hey, the snail's been hit. What's up, Luffy? Hey, helmet guy, is something wrong with this thing? Every everyone's voice cut off suddenly. Third floor building A. Where are you, Vegapunk? Precious gems, gimme gimme! Hey, ain't you being a bit bored? Most just say they're pretty. There's no harm there's no harm in it, right? Everyone's evacuating after all. You're not wrong there, but uh I still reckon you folks have got a screw loose. Yeah, <sighs> this is heavy. Shall we head back? We're supposed to be looking for the Stella! <laughs> Fine, I'll just leave them for now. But we'd better come back for this later. You know, those diamonds are man-made. They're meant to be for industrial purposes only. What? Well, you can make diamonds? What's with that look in your eyes? The future really is a place of dreams. Enough already! Stella, where are you? Second floor building. So your face is like a mask? Yep, I can replace any part. I can replace any part of my body whenever I need. That's the future for you. Hmm, I wonder, are these Vegapunks? Those are man-made organoids. They'll be indispensable for the doctors of the future. Yeah. What? You can actually grow a new organism? That's amazing. Oh, I thought these were Vegapunks' organs and someone cut him to pieces. You're scary. <laughs> Rob, that was what Robin said. Oh my gosh, that is such a Robin thing to say. Hmm, I thought these were Vegapunk's organs and someone cut them to pieces. You're scary! Command room, floor building A. What's going on? Hey, helmet guy! Edison, it's Shaka! Do you read me? I could hear everyone fine a second ago. I swear I didn't break it or knock it or anything, I think. It's not that. Look at this! The camera feeds. They keep going out one after the other. There's someone else in the lab. Second floor, building B. But wow, this is... This is starting to be like a horror story, like a slasher story or something, like something is in here with us. Will we be able to escape? Who can say for sure? I can't believe I get to travel the seas with you, Lady Stussy. You were at Big Mom's party, right? You can consider me your loyal dog, hee <laughs> hee. Just keep your eyes out for the Stella, silly. This part of the lab sure is huge. That's because we're on the weapons development floor. You, w you wouldn't want any shockwaves sitting thi setting things off down here. Oh damn, we got all the straw hats and satellites in different groups together. I kind of like that. We each get different shots. Third floor, building C. A, bu a bubble gun? That's right. It makes the strongest bubbles. They can bounce anything back. I'm sleepy. What kind of attack just bounces things back? Hey Vegapunk. This looks bad. What happened? Is this the aftermath of that explosion? There's someone here. It's Pythagoras! Hey, hang on there. Whoa, he's got no head. That's gory. Don't tell me it was blown off. That big boom we heard earlier was because of this. Hey, don't shoot! It's me! Who's there? Pythagoras, or his head anyway. What happened? Some kind of accident? No, this looks like an attack. It was the darndest thing. It sounds impossible, but I know my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. Hurry up and tell us. I'm forced to wander, wonder if... We gave, made a grave miscalculation. Spit it already. Where's York? Aw, uh, didn't Edison order you to hold your horses earlier? You should really still be waiting out there, even though you're so cute. York, get away from her! Love, love, mellow! 
She's got her! York! No! What? A seraphim? Why are you here? Wah! You shouldn't be able to move on your own. I command you to stop. This is no- Oh, damn! The seraphim are turning on them! The seraphim are turning on them! Something's off here! Don't they realize we're Vegapunk? I know! They're not accepting our orders! Son of a- uh, Didn't- di Didn't see this twist coming! Should I return fire? That little girl's- Shaka! Shaka, respond! It's no good! We can't reach him! Quit joking around! We won't stand a chance in a fight! We designed them to be the most powerful beings around! Command room, building A. Give me a hand, Luffy. What's up, Zoro? What? You? Hawk, S-Bear, stop this immediately. Who ordered you to move? Good. You can stop them right. They were gunning for CP0. Letting them die in cuffs would leave a bad taste in my mouth. Okay, so like Zoro's like, yeah, you know what? These guys are assholes, but it's we don't want them to die and th th while they're sleeping. That's just... We're, we're, we're kind of good guys, I, I guess. Sort of. All right, I guess we'll have to save them. I would die. Would leave bad taste in my mouth. Ugh, they're not listening. So it's starting to look like we've got we've got the Straw Hats versus the Seraphim in this arc. If they won't take my orders, then they must already be active, acting on a command issued by Vega by a Vegapunk. What? And the barrier sealing us in. This is beginning to seem like an elaborate plan. Somebody's trying to kill us all. What? They want us dead. Those no good seraphim scamps. Hey, Straw Hat, Roanoa, how about we let bygones be bygones for now? We could form a temporary alliance. The two of us would be much more useful out of these cuffs. They look disgusted. <laughs> okay, okay, this I like where this is going. Because we've ended the rematches between Zoro and Kaku and Luchi and Luffy, but it's starting to look like we've got a temporary alliance that's about to start. Because these these things are tough. It might still be a tough match for 5th Gear Luffy. I mean, I think 5th Gear Luffy could hold his own against the Seraphim, but it still could be a really tough battle. So, I think this is a cool place for the story to go, where we got a temporary alliance with the CP0. It's a dangerous alliance, though, because if they take those cups off, eventually they're going to be enemies again. So, I don't know. This is a very tricky situation. But what a great chapter. Oh my gosh. Very, very fun. Wow, I... I don't, I think I really need to, I, I think I've forgotten a lot about this chapter already, so I'm going to need to go, we go through it. What do you think, Dr. Rattle? Okay, guys, I'm going to reread this chapter and take in all the details. See you in a second. Okay, I just read through the whole chapter again, and wow, this was pretty exciting. It had everything. It had action, it had humor, it had mystery. I really enjoyed it quite a lot. So the chapter pretty much begins where we find out what, where we're looking into the area where Pythagoras was attacked and some mysterious force is basically taking down all the cameras. Then we get a nice, a few nice scenes of the Straw Hats and the satellites teaming up, and I like all the group shots that we get in this chapter. They look awesome. <laughs> Nami is swooning over diamonds that Vegapunk created, and she's like, okay, I'll come back for them later. She's got like a whole pet backpack full of diamonds and stuff. Then we see that Atlas is perfectly fine, and she basically says how all her parts are replaceable, which makes uh, perfect sense to me, and she's adorable, and I'm glad that she's back on her feet. Then we get a shot of Robin being impressed that they've got man-made organoids and tubes. It looks like Vegapunk may be creating Cell? That's not good! And uh, of course we get a really funny comment by Robin about how she thought that Vegapunk got chopped up and, and put in these tubes and, and poor Chopper's crying about it. Poor Chopper. <laughs> the communications are down and Chaka is trying to figure out what's going on and then we move over to Sanji hanging out with Stussy because of course he is. That's pretty funny. We get another group shot of York, Lilith, Usopp and Frankie all hanging out together. 
and then we find Pythagoras' body, and his head's been blasted clean off. Just kidding. He can remove his head. We, we already knew this, so honestly, we we should have seen this coming. <laughs> of course his head would detach. And he's, uh, but before he can explain who attacked him, York goes over to check out Snake and gets completely petrified. It looks like the Seraphim are turning on the Straw Hats and Vegapunk, but the question is, who gave them this order? Could there be treason in the ranks of the satellites? Could it be that somehow one of the Gorase has gotten orders into the facility? Well, I don't know what's going on, but things are getting pretty exciting. This is definitely going to be all the Straw Hats versus the Seraphim in this arc. Mighty, mighty foes indeed. Didn't see this twist coming. Should I return fire? And it looks like Bear and Hawkeye are going to be teaming up to fight Luffy and Zoro, and I cannot think of a better pair. Basically, Luffy's taking on the Seraphim based on the man that separated his crew. Now, honestly, that worked out for the best in the end, but still. Kuma caused them a lot of trouble in the past, and Luffy gets to take him on at full power at this point in the story, and of course Zoro gets to take on Hawk. So yeah, this is super cool, I'm really exciting, and as if that wasn't enough, the chapter ends with them saving CP0. And basically CP0 are like, okay, listen, I know we're enemies, but how about a temporary alliance, huh? Temporary alliance? Just take these handcuffs off and we'll work together and take the Seraphim down. Which seems like an incredibly bad idea. Like a super, super bad idea. <laughs> and of course we get very, very funny faces from Luffy and Zoro. Like, you want us to free you? You assholes kidnapped Robin and, and put us through all this shit. Luffy barely survived that encounter. The, the whole crew barely survived that encounter. And now you want us to let you free? I can't wait. I don't think One Piece is on break next week. I'm super excited. Throwing it over to Dr. Rattles. <laughs> What was that? Yeah, it's either a satellite gone rogue or the Gorosei secretly getting orders in, because that would be bad. But either way, I'm really looking forward to the action that's coming up in this arc. Woohoo! Woo Egghead all the way! Egghead all the way! I'm loving this arc so much. Okay guys, see you next time!